It was the battle of the robots this weekend. Halton students were among others in the GTA taking part in a high school competition being held at Humber College. As Manisa Denabalan tells us, a team from Burlington was in the lead. They may not be as great as NBA players, but these robots can definitely shoot some hoops. So this is a rapid react. This is a first robotics competition for kids that are 14 and up. And they're building robots that uh, drive autonomously as well as uh, are teleoperated by the kids. Uh, basically, you're just trying to get all of the balls into either one of the upper or lower hoops. So our robot here goes into the upper hoop. And then at the end of the match, when there's like 30 seconds left, I think, you're, you want to try to climb. I control the driving and our intake system, so I'll be picking up the balls and lining up for a co-driver to shoot. They also bump into each other a lot, but unfortunately, they don't get any points for that. 30 schools are participating throughout the weekend, and yesterday, the students at M.M. Robinson High School in Burlington were the winners. And today, we're our second place. Hopefully not for long. The winners move up to the next level. So this is one tournament, and we have multiple tournaments around the province, so they get ranking points through today through the competition and, and those ranking points will get them points towards qualifying for the provincial championships. Garth Webb Secondary School in Halton was another team scoring pretty high. Because of COVID-19 shutdowns, all the students only had about six weeks to create their robot, but it didn't stop them. Something about being able to be creative and uh, just the, the ability to, I mean, make that. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, when, when you win a match against other teams that you know are really good, it's just, it's super amazing. The winners don't just get medals and a trophy. It also opens the door to many post-secondary scholarship opportunities. The provincial championship will take place in Mississauga in April. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News.